Hi, welcome back. Um, I want to talk to you guys about going live, um, live streaming and what that is. Um, a lot of people probably have seen it. It's been advertised um, on Instagram. It's advertised when you're probably watching YouTube, like it's everywhere. Um, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. Um, I go live almost every day. Um, if you guys don't know what going live means, it just means that you can actually talk and interact with people in live time. Like, I mean, YouTube even has it. You can go live on YouTube. I've only went live on YouTube like one time but um, YouTube has it so it's a little button you either upload a video you upload a short or you go live so um, I've been going live for a while I'm not a vet I'm not an OG I'm not breaking the bank but I'm a little experienced in it I've uh, I've been going live for about um, se seven, six years now, about six years, and um, I my, my schedule has been so crazy. Like it hasn't been a straight six years; it's been on and off for six years. I've been doing this, but um, I I like it. I enjoy it. It's really fun. It's how I get traffic to my Instagram. It's how I get traffic to my Twitter. And it's how I get traffic to my YouTube channel. I think it's a, it's a great way to make friends, to network, and to hang out, to chill. Like if you're bored, if you're in the house and you're tired of watching TV, tired of just doing doing what else ever then go live go live and hang out mingle meet people in your neighborhood in the next city over the next state over or in a different country like it's crazy it's billions of people probably not billions but millions of people on live it's it's so fun because it's always on like it never shuts down and turns off it's always on there's always someone live talking playing music laughing joking having a good time in their room you're going to find a room to have fun in if it's not yours you'll find a room to have fun in but um like i said i'm i'm not an expert so i really don't want to like give you like advice like do this and do that because then you'll get this many followers and that many followers and whatever whatever because like i said i've been doing it on and off um the best uh thing i can tell you is to just have fun with it like don't ever feel like you have to hit a goal you have to get a certain amount of people in your room to be succeeding because it's not true it's about for me it's about you know hanging out and letting off steam of course the networking and getting traffic to my site is just as important but first I want to have fun um you know if you really I mean it's people are like what's the point of going live I I just told you a couple reasons Mainly because it's entertainment. I think it's funner than cable. It's better than cable because you're in the box and people are interacting with you in live time. Like you can, um, like what's the purpose? You can make money um, off of it. Um, again, like I said, I am not breaking the bank with it. You can make money, but it takes a lot of time and dedication um, I I go live honestly like 30 minutes a day 
I'm terrible. I know my people are probably just over it, but I only go like live 30 minutes a day. I am trying to get better and do like three to four hours, but man, it's a lot that you have to plan and structure your day to make to be able to give your audience that kind of time. Um, but I think uh, the key to su success is being on there almost every day and putting in like work hours, like eight to 12 hour shifts. Like it's, it's ridiculous um, what these um, veterans <laughs> I keep calling them veterans, like these these professional streamers are doing. They are putting in eight to twelve hours a day. They are getting their there's so many little themes to each app. I'm on um a couple different apps. Um there's coins, there's diamonds, there's food, like people can give you gift you all kind of things but the currency is always a specific thing depending on the app. But the gifts are planes, cars, animals, food, like the gifts are all different kind of animated things. It's really fun. I wish I could, you know, show you guys, like um, interact with you guys on, on here about what it is, but I, I'm just not gonna pull it up. I just want to tell you guys that, you know, I do go live, and if you have any questions, you want to catch me, conversate, you can always catch me on things like, uh, tank, some of them are 18 plus, um, they're probably all 18 plus, but some of them are, you know, um, for adults. Um, like only fans based and some of them are you know strictly um, platonic um, you know no nudity no drugs no soliciting no illegal activity but some of them <laughs> some of them are definitely for adults and uh, it's really fun though I, I enjoy each and every one of them I'm honestly on like five of them Oh, I, w I think I was naming them. I'm sorry. I'm on um, I'm on Tango. I'm on Tag. I'm on uh, Bigo. I'm on Live Me. Well, I deleted Live Me. I still got a Live Me profile. I'm on You Now, and um, I'm on Peaks. It's probably another one. Oh, I'm on Meet Me, but Meet Me and Tag, they're like probably sister companies, they're the same companies. Um, and also, be careful because it's so much competition out there to have these um, live sites that you think that you're on a completely different live site, but it's actually the same one that you already have like the server is the same the um the broadcasting server is the same server even though the brand and the advertisement and the theme may be completely different i i, I don't know um i i'm not going to get into that but you know if you see if you go in the room and you're like i seen you on the other page it's because it's the same page oh i was on pof for a while but I think POF is still a sister company of uh, Meet Me, but again, I'm not sure. I just say that because I notice the same faces, the same audience, and the same community. Um, but um, th those are um, the ones that I'm on. If you guys have any questions, um, ask me. I'll try to list it below um, which, which ones I'm on. Um, which ones are my favorite and um, well I guess I'll tell you now uh, probably tag and meet me is my favorite and tango is really my uh, laid-back breather one like on meet me on tag 
you really have to be um, energetic you have to be excited and you have to be ready to conversate because people will come into your room and they really want to talk with you. And um, I like tango because, you know, it's, it's chill and sometimes I just don't want to talk. I just want to, I don't know. I just want to live stream and be like, this is what I'm doing today. I'm, I'm doing the dishes. I'm doing my hair. I'm doing my makeup. Like, I don't want to sit and be like, I'm here to conversate and joke and tell you how my day's going and what I'm up to. Like, I don't feel like doing that all the time. But um, I, if you guys want to get started going live, do not be discouraged. Um, like I said, I've been doing it on and off for like six years and I'm not where I want to be. But... Um, I'm getting somewhere, I'm getting followers, I'm getting traffic, I'm getting noticed. Um, people miss me, they say, where have you been? You know, if I don't go, get on for a day or two, you know, um, social media time, if you don't tweet something within 30 minutes, people think you're, you're gone, you done deleted something or whatever. But um, I, I like it and I enjoy it um, a lot. And you guys should try it. Um, take baby steps. Go live for five minutes, for 10 minutes, until you really get your time down, your schedule down, your, um, your tolerance down, I guess, because it's not for everybody. People will come in your room and pick with you and give you a hard time, but you know, once you start building your room and your community, you, you expect people to come in. Like, where is so-and-so? Why hasn't so-and-so gave me this? Or said hi or said good morning to me? Or, you know, you'll get used to it. So, um, I like to live stream, and I think you guys will too.